This theater was my work as well, but it's doomed now. The king has decided to alter Herodium altogether and transform the whole mountain into his mausoleum. Can you hear them? Those are the workers about to begin the demolition. Oh, what a pity. So few people had time to admire the artwork that decorates these walls. I remember well the exact moment when Herod gave the order to create them. He returned from one of his journeys with news. In just a few months, Marcus Agrippa, the Emperor's second in command, would come on a royal visit, and he would be hosted here too in Herodium. Wow. The palace was in a state of frenzied anticipation. The king gave orders to prepare for the visit by meeting the standards that Agrippa was accustomed to in Rome. The finest wine, preserved apples from Italy, fish sauce from Spain. But the most important task of all was the redecoration of the theater's royal hall. The king has his own reasons. He knows that even artwork can sometimes have political significance. The first thing the artists had to do was replaster the walls. After that, they sculpted the upper part of the room in stucco relief, a special kind of plaster. Ah, what a marvelous decoration it is. It gives the flat wall depth, like stone carvings. The artists divided the space of the walls with plaster columns, decorated with leaves and crowned by capitals.